This, guys, is our DIY off-grid self-drilled well that we've got out here in the woods. And today we're gonna give you our final update on how this bad boy's doing. Something about the wonderful way The sun is coming up today It's saying everything's all right Hey, I'm Martin. I'm Julie. And we're building an off-grid homestead from scratch in North Idaho, debt-free. We make videos every week, so if you're new here, please consider subscribing. We drilled this well last year with the help of our friend who had his own machine. You think we're about nine feet now? Yeah, about nine feet. Because these are five foot pieces. Okay. This should be our fourth one uh, already. So we should be down at 18 feet right now. We're going to pull all the pipe back out, take them back apart, and then we're going to put a bigger bit on and go back down and make the hole bigger. Woo! That's awesome! Wow! Nice. <laughs> Round of applause! That's, am feet. that's amazing! We could only drill down 18 feet legally without a permit or without a license or anything like that in the state of Idaho. And so that's exactly what we did. Went down 18 feet and we found water. It was about five gallons an hour and it was really terrible. It just looked like chocolate milk. So we're pumping her now, filling her up and it's still coming out like chocolate milk. Man, how are we gonna be able to drink that? If we pumped five gallons of water, we would have about this much left of silt in the bottom of that. Yummy. <laughs> in this area that we live in, that silt is called glacial silt or glacial flour. It is really nasty stuff and super, super fine. Like you can't screen it out with anything. It's gonna come through it because it's just so fine. As you guys probably know, this is just a pitcher pump and there is a one inch PVC pipe that goes down about 16 feet into this pipe here, the well casing, and there's a foot valve on the end. The problem is the whole thing has silted in and now the well is completely stuck down in there. Jules, would you try lifting this up out of there? <laughs> really? Yeah, really. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I doubt it. Oh, okay. Might have to twist it. Twist it. <laughs> oh, I got it. Look at that. Woohoo. Oh, it's heavy. So let's go ahead and see if we can just untwist this guy here real quick. I don't think we can. I'll hold it. You twist it. Okay. <laughs> nope. All right. <sighs> we'll just try to take it out. Try to keep it straight. Uh, don't fall. Almost out. About a foot. Almost. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> oh no, it's gonna break. So take a look at that. Right there. It was just Ooh. stuck down there. See this? Right here? Well, fell out of the tree. <laughs> but um, see that right there? It's so fine, it's like a cosmetic almost. Yeah. Like you can't even feel the grit in your, like in between your fingers. You can't feel the grit at all. It's like, I don't know, it's like pudding. Look how much water though. Wow. I know. It's not frozen, look at. The water is about, I'd say 10 feet or so down there. Yeah. Yep. Probably about 10 feet down in the well. But this thing is a total failure. Wait, you don't want to filter it? You know how far away we are from the house too? We are 400 yards. I just pasted it off. 400 yards away from the house, that's 1,200 feet. <laughs> that would be a long trench with a lot of big wire to get a pump down here to pump it all the way up to the house. We could put a solar pump down here, but that's so far, so far to trench. Uh, through the trees, through the roots, all that good, kind of stuff. It was a good experiment, though. See yeah. See if we could do it. It was a really fun experiment, guys, but it's a failure. Therefore, we are going to be drilling a real well 
up near the house. <laughs> Professionally drilled. That's right. By a well company. And so there's there's some interesting things about like this well here that we did ourselves or any shallow well. I don't know if it's the same in every state, but at least in Idaho, mortgage companies don't want to give a loan on a house that doesn't have a certified well. Yep. And I think it's five gallons a minute that the bank is looking for. Yep, minimum. Yeah, mm -hmm. minimum to loan on. Yep. And so, I mean, we don't need a loan. We're doing this debt free, but who knows, you know, in the future, if we ever decide to sell the place yep. or if we die and Sarah or Seth want to sell the place, yep. it's going to make it a lot harder to sell if we're trying to use a shallow well that we dug ourselves, a non-certified, yep. non-five gallon per minute well. That's why... We've saved up our pennies. <laughs> Lots of pennies. <laughs> and we are ready to have a well company come in and actually drill us a well. So let's go up and get the area ready where we want the drilling company to come in and drill our well. Yeah. I can't believe the way I'm feeling. It's like I'm floating up and dreaming. Yeah, baby, everything's all right. Everything's all right. We didn't get the pile moved completely last night because we blew a hydraulic line on the tractor. It's actually the one that controls this cylinder right here, right? You can see it already took it off right there. And so we can't actually tilt it this way. Uh, we got to cruise the town, get a new hydraulic line, and hopefully get that pile moved before the well drilling rig gets here. Yeah, the pile's right in the way. Alright guys, North Fork, let's go see if they got what we need in here, hopefully we can just buy a new hose from here and we don't actually have to go get one made, that would be lame, take a long time, we gotta get that pile moved ASAP. Well, they've got a wide variety, but unfortunately they do not have the one that we need, so now we gotta go to an actual tractor store and see if they can make us one. All right, let's go see what they can do here. Got the new hose here. This is the hose. Looks like that. And the fittings are like this on both ends. It costs $55. That seems expensive to me. Let me know down in the comments below how much you think this hose right here <clears throat> to have custom built right now right when you want it no waiting how much do you think that ought to cost super simple fix guys easy to do let's go see if we can get the rest of that pile moved and get ready for the drill rig to get here Let me show you what we got here, guys. Oh yeah, check it out. The whole berm is taken out from here. It's piled up right there, over there, over there, over there, and way back in there. So this whole area right here is for the drilling rig to come in. Hopefully he'll be able to pull right down in here, right down in between those trees frontwards going this way, and then drill the well right about there. Other support vehicles can come right in here. Let's go inside for just a minute and Marty is going to show us how to estimate how deep our well is going to be. Estimating the depth of your well can be fairly easy if you use the tools that are provided you by the state. So since we're in the state of Idaho, we're going to be using the Idaho State website. All you have to do is go here to Google and type in Idaho well maps right here and then click on the first one here from Idaho.gov. And that is going to load you up a map here of the state of Idaho. Click that, click OK. Right, and now we can go in and zoom in on any part of the state. Well, we're up here in Bonner County. So we'll go ahead and zoom in up here. Then we'll notice these little blue dots here start popping up. And all we need to do is click on one of those dots, like this one right here. Look at that. And it tells us 
The production rate is half a gallon per minute. Casing six inches, static water level zero. The casing depth was 400 feet. Gee, 400 feet, that's kind of deep, huh? Then we could just click on the surrounding ones. Of course, you're gonna to wanna to go to your address and then click on the wells that are close to your property. So let's see here. This one right here is production rate of 10 gallons per minute and it's 180 feet deep. All right, that's a lot better than 400, huh? Let's see, we'll try this one. 60, whoa, 60 gallons per minute. Static water level of 60 feet and the total depth is 400 feet. So it's interesting, you can also click right here, more information, and that will open you up to this page. You just click on the person's name here and that opens up the well log, the actual well drillers report here. And so you can see at what different depths the different things were found in the ground, right? Like uh, whether it was sand or gravel or what it was, whatever was in the ground, you'll see it here and you'll see the total depth right here. From 300 feet to it looks like 700 feet and something with, I don't understand what that says, I can't read it. but. That's what it says right there. So right here we've got, oh, that's 400 feet, not 700 feet. Right down here, steel and then plastic for uh, down to 400 feet. So in order to estimate the depth of your well, what you would want to do is go to the well map for your state. If it's Idaho, it's super easy. But go to the well map for your state and then click around the wells that are close to your property. Then you can kind of estimate maybe what your well might be. The problem is, is that at least for us in our area, it ranges so widely, even within a very narrow area. And so around our property, it ranges from like 60 feet up to 600 feet within probably a quarter mile radius of our property. And so we really don't know exactly how deep our well is going to be. We're hoping for a, a shallow one somewhere around, oh, 100 feet would be awesome but it could be as deep as 600 feet. We just don't know. If you guys would like to see more of what's going on on our homestead, there's a video right over there for you. We hope you guys have a really great day. Keep smiling, and we'll see you over in that video in just a second. <music>